Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times, deep in the Point Lonesome Swamp, here in the oasis of freedom on this gorgeous, soon to be I think 77 degree spring day in late December. It is Sunday morning, December 26, 2021. The uh, last Sunday morning of the year here. Uh, so, I was planning to do a review of the excellent, uh, spot on, two thumbs up, two thumbs up, a uh, new Netflix documentary, I'll almost call it, I uh, almost have to call it a documentary, a documentary out of the uh, <laughs> future. Don't look up. I highly recommend you see it. So I was all set to do that review, but then I go over here on YouTube and that son of a bitch, little eco pussy Sam Mitchell over at Collapse Chronicles already reviewed uh don't look up so uh since that son of a bitch stole my thunder uh i just have to think about something else to talk about today so guys i'm i'm giving you right now the corona panic warning anybody who does not want to hear about corona panic go over to Collapse Chronicles and listen to the review of, uh, of uh, Don't Look Up, which I don't think has the word Corona Panic anywhere in the review. Uh, so anyway, you know, as I, as I head towards New Year's, I, in, in six days from today, I need to decide whether or not to make my New Year's resolution, at least for my resolution for Humpty Dumpty Tribe, to never mention Corona Panic again. I have six days to decide, and I don't know how it's gonna fall out, but I'm thinking, guys, of just making my Corona Panic rant a weekly rant, where, uh, I don't know, pick one day of the week in the year 2022, which will be my uh, corona panic roundup so anyone who doesn't want to hear uh, about the fucking corona panic or one word I have to say about you, you know this bad hair day and the biggest distraction in the history of humanity then you just simply don't turn, tune in the Humpty Dumpty tribe on that day so you won't get ambushed but anyway, I'll figure all of that out, and I will let you know by next weekend what I figured out. But since I can't talk about what I wanted to talk about, which was don't look up, we're just going to sit here and very carefully tiptoe through a corona panic roundup. And speaking of tiptoeing through corona panic, uh, I am shocked to find myself giving a tip of the hat to Chris Martinson. Chris Martinson, uh, you might remember Chris from his peak prosperity. Well, Chris Martinson has gone pretty much all corona panic all the time. And if you remember, back at the beginning, Chris Martinson, I lost, uh, well, I need to be careful there. Okay. See, this is what Chris Martin, well, anyway, what Chris Martinson, his advice about how to talk about Corona Panic on YouTube is tread very carefully. You need to be very careful not to voice your honest opinion. What you do is everything, it has to come out of the mainstream media. You have to uh, choose your sources very carefully. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to try to take Chris's advice. So in the beginning of the Corona Panic, you know, Chris was full-fledged, fear-mongering, 
Uh, it's gonna kill us all. We're, we're all fucking dead. Uh, he was the banner carrier uh, leading the charge of uh, the corona panic. Uh, so I, for whatever reason, uh, just tuned Chris out. So I'm absolutely shocked to find more and more people are sending me links to Chris Martinson YouTube videos. And uh, I thought I would never listen to Chris Martin talk about Corona Panic again. But Chris Martinson has done a 180. He has spun around 180 degrees on, uh, on, on uh, the Corona Panic. So he's actually gone from this side of my opinion to this side. Uh, he's gone uh, all the way from over from the left all the way over to the right uh, in, in, in the past two years. And uh, so I, I am absolutely shocked and thrilled to see that Chris Martinson is clever enough and professional enough to, uh, to, to actually offer up an alternative to the meme, you know, the mainstream media meme. And if, if, if I were to say what Chris Martinson is saying in his videos recently, I would get certainly that video yanked down, probably my channel yanked down. I am absolutely flabbergasted that Chris Martinson's channel is still up on YouTube. But uh, if you are interested in hearing the other side of the story, I highly suggest you go over there and, and, and listen to that subversive voice, Chris Martinson, and, and as I say, who has gone 180 degrees. So uh, Chris has a lot more. I, I would love to uh, cover some, uh, you know, his latest that I really want to talk about. But if I just barely talked about one of his latest videos, you know what I'm saying? So anyway... I'm going to stick to the mainstream media, so uh, this is going to be probably my final Corona Panic Roundup of 2021, and we will see what 2022 holds, but uh, we're going to start right here, the number two story on the planet today, you know, as people are, you know, deciding about whether to get jabbed or not. You know, if you have not been jabbed, if you're deciding whether to get your first, second, third, fourth, tenth, twelfth, twenty-fifth jab, uh, and, you, and you like me are trying to figure out this, here's the second biggest story on the planet from the Washington Post. Corona panic outbreak sidelines ship whose entire crew is fully immunized, Navy says. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think the headline says it all. Let's see. So the ship, everyone on the ship is fully immunized, which I think now means have even had their boat, even had their boosters, and they're uh, stuck in port as the uh, Omicron ravages through. Nowhere in the story does it actually say how many of these sailors have ended up in the hospital or died. That is of no interest to the uh, to the Washington Post. Okay, but I'm very encouraged by this story from good old NBC News from a couple of days ago. COVID is here for good, scientists say. Wow, we have another wolf 
outside the cave door. Early in the corona panic, many people seized on the on the on the hope that the corona panic could be stopped in its tracks and buried for good once vaccines rolled out. But hope for a zero corona panic country fizzled for most scientists long ago. So we actually get to hear from a scientist other than St. Anthony, unbelievably. This is Dr. Elizabeth Halloran, an epidemiologist at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle. Said of her fellow researchers, quote, everyone has stopped talking about getting rid of COVID. It is not going away, and that means it's going to be endemic, close quote. Most scientists now expect the virus to circulate indefinitely with lower and more predictable case numbers, a status known as endemicity. That would make the coronavirus, like many other viruses that humanity has learned to deal with, such as influenza. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, uh, anyway, I hate to say, nanny, nanny, boo, boo, told you so, told you so. Breaks my heart to have to say that. All right, but of course, being uh, down here in the Oasis of Freedom, being a snowbird in the Oasis of Freedom, down here during the Omicron, ravaging the Oasis of Freedom, uh, obviously, uh, I and uh, probably however many other people down here in the Oasis of Freedom, wondering, do we get the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or tenth? jab and god damn it I, I lost the article uh from a few days ago it was titled something like uh florida you know with the omicron racing through florida florida case rate up death rate down and uh anyway something like that and uh, but I've lost that to the winds, but I am glad to see right here today uh, from the good old Tampa Bay Times what is going on here in the oasis of freedom with the Omicron. All right, Flora, I'm, I'm just going to read a little bit of the thing, then we're going to go over. Wow, unlike the editors of the reporters of editor from the Tampa Bay Times, as they have zero interest in spending 30 seconds over on, uh, over on uh, percentage calculator, uh, I'll have to do that for you. But let's hear how the Tampa Tribune is spinning this story this morning, December 26. Florida adds 125,201 corona panic cases and 122 deaths in the past week. All right. Florida reported 125,201 corona panic cases over the seven-day period from December 17th to the 23rd an average of about 17,886 infections per day. This is the mainstream media reporting this. That is a 323% increase from the week before. 
it is still lower than the peak of the summer, you know, the delta wave, when the seven-day average cases hit over 25,000, but the speed of increase, you know, since Omicron got here is unprecedented thus far in the pandemic. The latest tally brings the total number of corona panic cases to 3,864,213 since the pandemic uh, began um, 21 months ago. I guess the first death was reported in Florida on March 1st, 2020, and since then, 3,864,213 Floridians dead of corona panic. Uh, the state added 122 deaths since the last report. This brings the total statewide number of pandemic deaths, you know, since day one to 62,000. 342. Okay, let me tread very, very carefully. And of course, since uh, the, as I say, the reporter and the editors of Yahoo News, I, I'm sorry, the Tampa Bay uh, Tribune and Yahoo News have no interest. And, and putting in a little bit of amplification and clarification behind these statistics. First, of course, is they don't bother to report the story, which I think I recovered in, recovered in my last roundup, or if I didn't, you know, this new report, they are predicting, especially since Omicron, they are claiming that there's probably 40% more people who have gotten corona panic than will ever know they did. They will, uh, that there are a hell of a lot more people. So uh, there's probably, you, uh, according to, to, to one, uh, estimate this 125,000 you can add about 40 percent of that to that number for a, a truer uh, number of how many people in Florida have actually had corona panic it's just that particularly since the Omicron that they had no clue they even had it so anyway uh, you, 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 you got to take that statistic with a grain of salt and, and, and uh, needless to say, needless to say in these death numbers, whether it be 122 or 3,864,000, they have no interest in uh, letting us know how many of those deaths were old fat people. Okay, I, I really want to see the statistic sometime. What is the, the 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 lifespan, the average lifespan of an American? All right, and then find out what percentage of the people dying of corona panning the 800,000 or whatever they're claiming now uh, were already older than the natural lifespan of a human being. Uh, never seen that statistic one time and obviously uh, looking around at my fellow uh, Floridians uh, want to know what the average BMI is of uh, Floridians dying of uh, corona panic. So anyway, since Tampa Bay Tribune had zero interest in doing this, I am going to spend, this took me about 30 seconds. We're going to start with the headline, 
Florida adds 125,201 COVID cases, 122 deaths in the past week. Okay, that's assuming you believe the 125,000. Using it as the number, okay, 122 is what percent of 125,000? The answer being 0 0.098%. So understand we're talking about the number of deaths relative to the number of cases 0 0.098%. Pretty close to, let's call it 0 0.1, just for the hell of it. So, in, in, in other words, 99.9% uh, of people who officially were diagnosed with corona panic, not counting all the ones who were never diagnosed because they never knew they had it, looking at the official numbers, 99.9% of the new corona panic cases did not die of corona panic. All right. And then, of course, we uh, have to go over to... Uh... All right. Now, so 62,000, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't get to the part of the article. So anyway, uh, officially recorded in Florida, it, it was farther down in the article, officially uh, there have been 3,864,213 cases official cases since the beginning of the pandemic the state of florida has recorded 3,864,213 uh, official cases and 62,342 floridians have of those people have died since day one of this which comes out to 1.6% of people officially diagnosed with corona panic. We're talking Floridians. We'll get back to this in a minute. Floridians. 1.6% uh, of the people being diagnosed officially have died. So what is that 98.4% of the of actual of people who have officially if you believe the statistics 98.4% of the people of Floridians who got it did not die of it and then of course I have to go back to the beginning so the population of Florida okay once again the population of official Floridian citizens. Because every time you read an article about Florida, you're gonna have the Corona Panic banner waivers hitting their bullshit button and everything, calling Florida statistics full of shit. These are residents of Florida. There are approximately 21 million 800,000 people residents of the state of Florida. According to the Census Bureau, of those 62,342 have died since day one, which means that 0.286% of, uh, of actual Floridians uh, have died of the corona panic since day one. We'll call it 0 0.3, so 99.7% of Floridians 
on 99.7% of people down here in the oasis of freedom have not died of corona panic since day one. You know, they call it the oasis of freedom. I have been down here, when did I get down here? November 10th. I have never put a mask on my face since arriving in Florida. Never felt a mask on my face in the oasis of freedom. Uh, so of course, what the Tampa Tribune does since they want to get printed in Yahoo News is uh, they immediately hit the bullshit button on these Florida statistics that the Florida statistics are full of shit. And the reason for that, the number one reason that they drill this into your head just so you understand that you need to take everything uh, that I just said and all of these official statistics from the Oasis of Freedom, throw them out the window because they're worthless. And the reason they are worthless is that Florida does not report the numbers for snowbirds. The non-residents. I honestly don't know how other states do this. They're implying that Florida is the only state does, that does not count I guess what they're implying is the other 49 states, if you're not, if you're visiting that state, like if you're, like if you're visiting New York from Pennsylvania and you drop dead of corona panic when you're in New York, are you consider you know, that you're considered a New York death? But Florida, uh, if you're from New York, if you're a New York resident and you're down here in Florida, what you got to understand about these snowbirds is the population of Florida is a hell of a lot more than 21,800,000 during about half of the year. Uh, I don't know the statistics on the number of uh, snowbirds, you know, spending the winter down here because it's 77 fucking degrees uh, on December 26. My guess is there could be 8 million people coming down here. So if you come down here from New York and you A, get corona panic, they're not going to count that in their figures. And obviously, if you die from, if you're from New York and you're, and you're down here in Florida snowbirding in the winter and you drop dead of corona panic, they just conveniently sweep that under the rug. So uh, did, did you get counted? You, you, you know, I mean, does a snowbird dying, let's say if you're from New York and you die in Florida, are you counted as a death in New York, or does New York, I bet New York doesn't want you either, that you just disappear. So what they're leading you to believe, and, and nobody knows, this is one of the big mystery, is, is that I, I guess that uh, the refrigerated truckfuls of snowbirds are, are, are dying of uh, corona panic. Uh, this is since there's no statistics out there because of those sneaky little shits in Florida trying to bury, uh, you, you know, all of these dead snowbirds uh, out, in, out in the swamp uh, that, you, that you can't believe one word of this. It means nothing. So we will never know, I will never be able to go on to percentage calculator. Neither will Chris Martinson. Chris can't do it, I can't do it. And put in, let's say, if there's eight million snowbirds and uh, however many, uh, you know what I'm saying, run the numbers on the snowbirds and uh, we will never know if it will show about the same uh, about the same numbers of snowbirds in proportion to the population of snowbirds down here getting corona panic and, and dying from it. 
Uh, it will have to be one of the great mysteries uh, for those sneaky little shits uh, down here in the Oasis of Freedom. Uh, there you go. So I will leave it up to you. You are, you have a brain. Do you think that these percentage figures are a hell of a lot higher for snowbirds living in Florida uh, than people who live here year-round? I don't know. I, I don't know. You decide for yourself. And uh, anyway, I'm going to factor all of this in as I, you know, sit here and decide whether I... Uh, get the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or tenth jab, whatever number I am due. Uh, I'm going to use my brain, my five years of college, and my 148 IQ to decide is it in my best interest uh, to get the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and as I have always said since day one, I am not an anti-vaxxer. If you look at the same information I have just shared with you right off, this, right off the mainstream media, if you go over to Chris Martinson's site, listen to a few of his videos, uh, if you have the same information available to you as I do to me, all right? Uh, if you look at the information in front of you, trying to decide, uh, make decisions about your own personal health, and you come to the conclusion that it is in your best interest to get the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever number vaccine, get the vaccine. Okay? It is supposed to be a free country. Now, I understand I am living in the oasis of freedom inside a free country. And damn glad of it. And uh, so if you do the research, but I understand I am preaching to the choir and talking to myself I understand there is not one word that anybody on either side of this fence is going to say to the other side. Okay? It makes no difference. The, the line in the sand has been drawn, but anyway, I have to wrap this up and because uh, I'm hungry and I'm going to head down to some... Uh, go get me a big old breakfast uh, in some crowded uh, diner on this beautiful Sunday in the Oasis of Freedom. I highly suggest you get out there to some crowded diner and enjoy and then enjoy a good meal while you still can. And don't forget, uh, don't look up on Netflix, my guys. <laughs>